good morning. We welcome you again to Daily Devotionals, and we're going to be looking in the Old Testament again. We're looking at First Chronicles, uh, the 28th chapter, verses 19 and 20. All this, said David, the Lord made me understand in writing by his hand upon me all the details of this pattern. Then David said to his son Solomon, be strong and courageous and act. Do not fear nor be dismayed, for the Lord God, my God, is with you. He will not fail you nor forsake you until all the work for the service of the house of the Lord is finished. Among a display of male statues, Nelson Mandela, Winston Churchill, Mahatma Gandhi, and others in London's Parliament Square, stands a lone statue of a woman. The solitary woman is Millicent Fawcett, who fought for the right of women to vote. She's immortalized in bronze, holding a banner displaying words she offered to, in a tribute to a fellow suffragist. Courage calls to courage everywhere. Fawcett insisted that one person's courage emboldens others, calling timid souls into action. You know, as David prepared to hand his throne over to his son Solomon, he explained the responsibilities that would soon rest heavy on his shoulders. It's likely Solomon quivered under the weight of what he faced, leading Israel to follow all God's instructions, guarding the land God had entrusted to them, and overseeing the monumental task of building the temple. Knowing Solomon's trembling heart, David offered his son powerful words, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged for the Lord God, my God is with you. Real courage would never arise from Solomon's own skill or confidence, but rather from relying on God's presence and strength. God provided the courage Solomon needed. When we're faced with hardship, we often try to drum up boldness or talk ourselves into bravery and courage. God, however, is the one who renews us, renews our faith. He will be with us, and God's presence calls us to that courage. Questions. You know, what causes your heart to tremble in fear? And how can you seek God's presence and power in moving toward courage in your own life? Pray with me. God, I'm often so afraid, and when I am, I'm tempted to rely on my own wits or courage, and that's never, ever enough. Be with me. Give me your courage today. Amen.